Hey folks, today we are planting corn out here at the Caspis farm. I uh, wanted to show you how we did that, um, as well as go over some of the details of uh, one of the seeders that we use. This is a John Deere 71 Flexi planter, um, an older model, but uh, really a great one. So the way that we have this sled set up is that we have um, in the front, we have mounted an Alabama shovel. Um, that is a shovel that has um, a point at the front, but a flat top. Um, so it doesn't have the high backs on it. It's not made for kicking soil way out wide. It's just meant for opening a small trench, allowing some of that loose soil to flow over the top. Um, and that'll be nice soil for us to put our, our corn seeds into. Um, next on the planter is a double disc opener. Um, so these are nice. It's actually two discs side by side, um, just at a slight angle to each other. They rotate around an axle. Um, so they come really close together here at the point. Um, that digs a small trench for the seed. Um, the seed will then drop from the hopper um, through this chute and come right out in between those double discs um, uh, into the seed trench that's being made. These double discs are really nice because if you have any residue or, um, or anything in your field, um, these double discs will cut right through them. Um, and it won't bind pieces of straw around a, um, a solid shoe like, some, like would happen on some other planters. Back here, this is our drive wheel um, and also our tamp wheel. So as this wheel turns, um, it moves a set of gears that rotate a seed plate in the hopper that determine how this seed drops. So this seeder is what we would call a precision seeder where it actually meters out exactly when the seed drops so that we can get our spacing just right. Um, here on the seeder, this is our depth adjustment. Um, so what happens is that based on the tension that we set on our drive and tamp wheel and how far we have this scallop moved, it will restrict the distance um, basically that this, uh, the double discs can drop in relation to the drive wheel. So where we're at right now, seven and a half, it'll put that seed in, you know, maybe two or three inches and that's exactly what we want. Um, we could lift it up and have it be a bit more shallow. Um, we'll do that sometimes for some small winter squash seeds, but for corn, for such a strong seed, we'd like to put it deep into the ground. Inside here, this gearbox are, is the gearing ratios that we use to determine what the plant spacing is for our crops. So, um, Right now we have basically a drive wheel sprocket set um, and we have the driven wheel sprocket set. And so depending on whether we use a larger wheel or a smaller wheel in any of these different spots, that will allow us to drop many, many seeds per foot or as in the case of corn, um, just three or four seeds a foot. We want these plants about four inches apart. Um, so we have it set up right now for corn planting. Um, but it's really easy to change with a small socket. And then the last part of the planter here, um, this is a pair of uh, two disc killers. Um, and these uh, are really just meant to move a small amount of soil on top of the seed line. Um, that just helps cover it up and protect that seed line a little bit. Um, we don't necessarily need it in our climate um, where our soils are pretty light, um, but in heavier soils where uh, the clay, um, you might form a nice hard crust that your seed would have trouble poking through. Um, having these disc killers to just put a little bit of loose soil on top of your seed line could be really helpful, um, but it's definitely not necessary. So here's the hopper. This is what will actually hold the seed. Um, and it's flipped upside down right now. I want to show you how we change the seed plates and how we determine what seed plate we use. Um, so if we open this up, this is actually our seed plate. And you can see there's a little bit extra corn in there that we'll be working with today. And there's many different seed plates that you can use. This is the one that we'll use for corn. And what you want to look for is because we want to singulate that seed, you want to imagine one seed fitting into one of these little holes um, when it's up against the wall. So this is you know, a relatively small hole, but it's perfect for our corn. Um, we have a couple other seed plates that I could show you. You know, this, 
you might use for something like a fava bean, a really large seed. And this seed blade here, you might use for a skinnier, longer bean. Um, some of our green beans have seeds that are um, of this shape. But there's a number of different plates that you can use uh, that will fit, again, just a single seed um, per drop. So if this is the seed plate that we're gonna use, um, we'll just go ahead and nestle it in, make sure that it's set, and lock it into place. Now one way you can double check if you have sized your hopper appropriately is that by putting a little bit of seed into the hopper and then spinning it. Is that working? You can see good, if the seed gets picked up one at a time. And then we'll just pot this up, seed hopper right on top. So now we've done a pass with the corn planter with the John Deere 71. Um, this is what we end up with. Um, so again, we had our listed beds that were in a mound. Those Alabama shovels just knocked that soil back, um, opened up a nice planting trench for us. That cedar came through, um, put the seed in the ground, and then those two uh, disc killers on the back just made each of these small little mounds that's gonna sit right on top of the seed line. So if I dig a little bit, um, just checking for seed, so I'm going to dig that cap off and you can see that they're just a couple inches down is our corn seed. And again, we know that corn is a really vigorous grower. Um, we know that it can take being buried by again that two, three inches of soil. So the other purpose of coming back and, and digging around is just to make sure that our spacing is right. And so you can see here again, we were shooting for about four inches and it really looks like that's just about what we're getting, um, four inches between our seeds. Um, that's definitely more seed than we need for corn, um, but we'd like to have a really solid stand. And if we need to come back through really quickly and hoe out a couple plants here or there, um, we're willing to do that.